turn uh, our table that we've been making into a chart. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, just highlighting the right part of the table should be enough to get us in the right space. So uh, most of the time we're going to have on this part of the table uh, something like this where we have numeric bins, where we have the, the uh, range of numbers, in this case dollar per hour for, for a pay rate, or we'll have categories so we could have like different dog breeds or something, it doesn't really matter. When it's like this, it'll be really easy. You'll just want to highlight, you know, a chunk of the table like this, never including totals, uh, and you never want both uh, number and percent. You just want one or the other. We'll talk about how to do percent here in a second. Um, uh, but anyway, you're just going to highlight that part of the table. So I just click in the middle of here, highlight this part of the table, hit insert, and I can put a bar chart in. And it'll take those those numbers here, the bins uh, and ranges, and put them down here. It'll take these counts and put them on the x-axis here, 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 and here. Uh, and it'll try and fit the x-axis to the, this data. Um, if you don't like that, we'll learn how to manipulate it. But, but anyway, that that's pretty simple. And then we'll, what we'll do in the next video is we'll talk about how to title it appropriately and add axis labels and all the other fun stuff. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now, when is it less straightforward? So let's talk about percents. If we want percents over here, so if instead of these counts, the 21, the 61, the 43 that are here in the ends, uh, of here, here I can put data labels in real quick, uh, so you can see, right? So instead of doing 21, 61, what if I want 13%, 37.7%, 26.5%? What if I want that instead of this on the x uh, or on the y axis? Um, then all I got to do is I highlight this first piece, just like before it was highlighted. Uh, and you need to do this first. Don't touch anything other than you know just highlighting this. Then I'm going to push down the control key on my keyboard and while I'm holding control I'm going to select the percents and now you'll see it'll leave that middle piece out okay so if you want to grab non-contiguous data it's just hold control um, and you can grab whatever from holding control I can grab you know a whole bunch of different places now again that's not really a chart same thing don't hold control and then do this and then do this because then wherever you were at before will be in there too. And when you try to insert it, it will break. Um, so it'll be like, no, nah, I can't do that. Uh, or it'll put a weird chart up that looks crazy. So again, highlight this first, then push control down, then highlight this, and then it should highlight and insert. And it's now gonna have percents over here instead of the counts or, or the, uh, yeah, the counts. Um, and it'll spell the bins down here. And then we'll just retitle and add some labels and stuff to make it real. Uh, the other thing you'll run into occasionally, and I, I'm sure there are plenty more, uh, is something like this, where uh, if you have something that doesn't have the bin structure, so 10 to 25, where you have a range, if you just have a strict number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like I do here, um, you will also run into stuff like this, where you go to insert, and it actually tries to put both of them on the, on the x-axis instead of the y-axis. Um, and if you have something like that, you can always manipulate where things are in the chart. Uh, and this is where you can go into a couple different places. Um, but when you're on the chart, um, there's a select data button in this design tab up here, or you can just right click on the chart. Um, and there will also be a select data here, but you just need this menu, this select data menu. And what you'll see is um, the series, anytime it says series, that's what goes on this. Uh, x-axis down here and we don't really want um, uh, the number of days um, to be or I'm sorry they're all in the white uh, I don't want to chart the the uh, car sold um, I just want them down here and I want the number of days uh, to be charted you know with the bars that's what I want um, and so it says the horizontal or category axis label right now it's just one two whatever I can edit this um, and I can make it the car sold like that. And then I can take this car sold and remove it. And I can hit OK. And now, um, and this is completely wrong, so that's where, you know, this is actually now a number of, uh, oh, number of cars sold. Why won't let me click in the That's weird.
Um, okay, well, I'm just going to. Um, and so then you'll just have to put in access titles. So now this is number of cards sold. This is the number of days that that happened. All right, and so now it has that. So zero cars were sold. Uh, you know, you see the value there, 23, 23. So if I mouse over that, you'll be able to see value 23. Um, so zero cars were sold 23 times. One car was sold 140 times, and so on and so forth. So now it's behaving. Um, so anyway, that's the idea of getting it turned into a chart. It's just if you built your table right, it should be pretty easy to turn it into a chart. And then from there, we can manipulate the chart, which is what we'll be talking about in the next video or two. So that would be it.